Welcome back to the Glencoe Radbat YouTube channel. This is the final part of installing a radon gas extraction system in a house. In part two, we finished excavating the dining room floor. We then installed our very own Glencoe Radbat full-size sump and piped it up to a radon fan under the stairs in the cupboard. From there, we carefully core drilled through the external wall for our extraction point. Go back and watch part one and part two if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and enjoy part three. So this is our extraction point. It's away from the doors and the windows. We're very happy with whereabouts has come out. We're gonna solvent weld a bird cage on the end and then seal around the edge of the pipe with mastic to stop any water ingress. Now that that's done, the next step is the floor leveling compound, the latex on the concrete. So that means that the carpet can go back soon. Before we can even think about mixing up the latex, first thing we need to do is thoroughly vacuum the concrete floor. We can remove some of the cover polythene sheeting which may be in our way. We apply a thin layer of floor levelling compound to level out the floor and fill in any small cracks in the screed. Now back in the cupboard under the stairs we're putting the carpet back and cutting it around our radon pipe. Using silicone mastic, we seal around our pipe where it passes through the external wall. Now everything is sealed and secure, it's time to finally turn on the radon fan. Our Glencoe Radvac VPF Series 2 fan has a 4 speed controller. I'm going to set it to 4 as the radon levels are so high. We're almost ready to put the underlay and carpet back, but first we need to remove all of our cover polythene sheeting. Here's a tip if you're ever controlling dust in a living area. Wrap the curtains in cover polythene sheeting. You can't go wrong. So the latex is nice and dry. It's perfectly smooth as well. We've got it as level as we possibly can in here. Ready for the underlay to come in now because we've just vacuumed up. Followed by the carpet where we've got the gripper rods around the edges which we haven't touched. All right, let's get the underlay. Ready? Now we go to do this. Oh. That's the easy bit done, now time for the carpet, it's pretty heavy. We make it a lot easier for ourselves to lift this carpet by using a ratchet strap. Right, ready? So there's actually other ways of mitigating radon gas. This system was an extreme case where we've had to dig up inside. Our most common systems are actually external. We can excavate a pit externally and core drill underneath the concrete floor inside. We then insert one of our mini sumps and pipe up to a radon fan on the external wall inside an enclosure. From the enclosure, we take the exhaust pipe up the wall past the roof line. The radon gas then disperses into the atmosphere. In properties that have a basement or cellar, we can sometimes install a positive pressure system. This system takes fresh air and pushes it into the elevated radon area. The fresh air dilutes and suppresses the radon gas. We will be posting videos of these other systems in the future, so please subscribe if you're interested. But back to this system, it's now complete. We are so pleased with how well this job has gone. It's gone very smoothly considering how much digging we had to do, how much mess there was in the lounge. But we got it all back nice and neatly, all the carpet and the underlay is back vacuum the whole place up, put everything back into its right place. The customer's happy, we're happy, on to the next one. Just a quick note about the radon levels. The customer had a digital monitor in place where we've done the system, and it was showing radon levels of over 3,500 in that room. If you haven't tested your house for radon and you are interested, then please go to our website, www.glencoe-radvac.com forward slash shop, and you will find the three month passive radon detectors. Thank you so much for watching this three part series. I really hope that you found it interesting. If you'd like to see more, then please let us know by liking this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you in the next one.